collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and welcome to episode 235 of Ask Boss Bounty. This is the weekly Q&A series that drops every Sunday where I basically answer your questions that you leave in the comments. So if you do have a question for next week's episode and you want to be featured in the video, be sure to leave that question in the comment section of this video. And as I said, hopefully, you know, your question will be chosen. If you do happen to enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Just recently, the other day, I passed 29,700 subscribers, which means just under another 300 and I will hit the magical 30,000, which is mind blowing, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support. And obviously when we do hit 30,000, we will be doing some giveaways. Before we get on to this week's questions, I just wanna talk very quickly about last night's live stream. So last night we launched this year's last figure standing. Hopefully you've seen it on social media, whether you're a part of a Facebook group or you follow me on Instagram, or if you follow the last figure standing Instagram account. We had Victoria from Victoria's Cantina as a guest and she went through her top 10 submissions and we also let you know which our top 10 submissions are. And all in all, I thought it was a good stream. Thank you so much for uh, everybody that turned up and watched. It was, you know, good viewing figures as always. So thank you so much. Be sure to submit your lists. The link is in the description below for that and you can get it from other places, as I said, on all social media channels, the Facebook group, uh, banterskull.com, places like that. But the more people we get submitting their lists, the better. And also this episode of Ask Boss Bounty is sponsored by VC35, which is Mace Windu. Unfortunately, I do not have the card back of him to hand to show you on screen. And I did want to talk about this one because we do lack prequel trilogy figures in TVC 2.0. And Mace Windu, when he got reissued, was a bit of a disappointment. Essentially, the, the Jedi body just needs updating. But I thought I'd just quickly talk about Mace Windu because it is a bit of a disappointing figure, that one. And for me, that is one, along with a host of others from the prequel trilogy that do need updating. So if you do want Hasbro to make more figures from the prequel trilogy, then be sure to put those in your last figure standing top 10, because that's what it's all about, letting Hasbro know what the community wants. And the first question of the week has been submitted by Lord Unforgiven 19 He says, hello, BB, question for next week. In the last few years, we've got pretty good display sets like the Tantif, Navarro Cantina, Endor Base, and now the Light Cruiser. What do you think is coming next year and what would be your three choices for an OTPT and new media or diorama sets in that price range? So recently, just on the PulseCon the other day, we got another one revealed, which was the Streets of Mos Eisley, which is going to go very nicely with the Cantina, if that's what you've ordered. If you haven't ordered the Cantina, then it'll be a pretty cool display piece by itself. Um, so I can't mention that one <laughs> for my OT. So in terms of OT, I mean, there's a couple that I would like, maybe something around Echo Base from The Empire Strikes Back. That kind of would be cool with all of those like display panels and computer terminals and things like that. From the prequel trilogy, maybe something around the Theed Palace, maybe the hangar. I know it sounds a bit boring, just like a couple of double doors, but I would like to recreate those doors where Maul comes through and then has the standoff with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, but of course, in my opinion, we need updates for all three of those figures uh, to sort of warrant having that set. And then new media, this was a bit of a difficult one for me because there isn't really any sort of thing that stands out for me in terms of like a play set or environment that, you know, that I can think of. The only thing I could really think of offhand was maybe the map scene from Ahsoka because we do have quite a few of those characters for that scene. Not too sure how well that would uh, be made into a play set, but I think it'd be pretty cool to sort of display your figures around that sort of, um, yeah, that sort of map thing on the cliff edge there. Shannon Patrat says, greetings, Tims. I really enjoyed the live stream, even though I had to duck out early question for next week. Years ago, if I'm not mistaken, Disney, correct if I'm wrong, mandated that there would no longer be any new merchandise made featuring Slave Leia, particularly with regard to action figures. Do you think this will change in the future? I missed out on her original release in TVC and her price on the secondary market is beyond what I'm willing to pay. I would love an update to this figure. Yeah, that's why I've got this one in in view there. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Disney actually came out and made a statement around it. I think the fact that we just didn't have anything for Slave Leia, Hut Slayer Leia, whatever you want to call her. Um, also, Ula wasn't included with the uh, Black Series Rancor. I think people maybe assumed that. And I think there may have been a comment from a Hasbro employee at the time that they may have suggested that, that you know they might not be able to do that sort of thing anymore. I don't 100% know if something officially was announced by Disney, but from the outside looking in, I just think that Disney 
being Disney will not do that sort of thing. They, you know, will probably avoid scantily clad um, females action figures, basically. Um, that's just my opinion on it. Unfortunately, Princess Leia in her slave outfit on the Return of the Jedi card or the Revenge of the Jedi card are both super expensive. She was available on Tungori a few months back. She's now out of stock. Keep checking that to see if she pops up. You might be able to pick her up for $25, $30 or anything. And if you're really wanting that figure, then of course you could get the Sandstorm layer, which is a little bit cheaper. And underneath all of her Sandstorm outfit is pretty much the um, Hut Slayer layer figure. So you could do that. Secret Destroyer says, hey Tim, hope you're well. Question for next week. Whatever happened to the pretty much confirmed rumor of Dengar being re-released? I think it was talked about when Neen Num was rumored and he has come and gone. Where is Dengar? Am I right? Also, do you think we'll ever get the other bounty hunters, new tools or re-released? If so, thanks for all you do. Best TVC channel there is. Thank you so much for the compliment, buddy. I really do appreciate that. In terms of Dengar, I think with rumors and when they are just rumors, you know, nothing can really be confirmed until Hasbro announced it because there's been so many occasions in the past where, you know, we've had a rumor and it's been a pretty solid rumor. Lots of people are talking about it and then Hasbro essentially shelve it and it doesn't happen. They move things around all of the time. Um, they have things planned out for maybe even a couple of years ahead. So things, you know, that people might hear, things that get leaked can and, and do change. With Dengar, I think it's still a really, really good looking figure. I think it's one that Hasbro could potentially reissue in the future. I don't think it's beyond that by any means. And you're right, I think it was rumoured at the same time as Neen Num and, and we got him. But I think that was because of the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi more than anything else that we, we still got Neen Num. In terms of the other bounty hunters, I feel that all of them could do with an update really. IG-88, Bosk, we need a new Episode 5 Boba Fett. And then you've got Fallen and Zuckus as well, which really aren't good enough anymore. So all of those need doing. I honestly can't see a scenario where we get all of those in one year. However awesome that would be, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, you know, new tooling for four or five figures all from the same scene. It's just not going to happen. But hopefully, you know, as time goes on, um, we can sort of push for those. And again, you know, last figure standing, if you want the bounty hunters, then vote for them in your, in your top 10. And then if lots of other people agree with you, then they may get in the top 10 and if they don't they may still get in the top 50 and all of that data is going to be passed over to Hasbro anyway and then they can make the decisions. Child of the Wilderness says we need more Kylo Ren in TVC we only have the Force Awakens version nothing from The Last Jedi or The Rise of Skywalker even though we have Rey from both of those movies and Snoke. So that is more of a statement than a question and as I'm probably going to say a few times in this episode of Ask Boss Bounty the last figure standing you know this is your chance to have your say and at the end of the day if you want Kylo Ren from the Rise of Skywalker then make sure he is in your top 10. I believe he is in Victoria's top 10 who we had as a guest on the live stream yesterday. So there are other people out there that want that figure and if there's enough people that want that figure then it will end up getting into the top 10. So. I plead with you, don't let anybody else influence you on what you want. This is about what you want and the 10 figures that you ultimately want to be made in the line and it is your chance to get your opinion across. Dan Von Carr says, question for next week, pretty obvious next year we're getting some A New Hope figures. Do you think they will release non-Tatooine figures from A New Hope like the Death Star Trooper or Tarkin and odds on us getting Owen and Beru? So in terms of A New Hope, I would suggest that the majority, if not all, of everything that's coming from that movie will be Tatooine related and around that Return to Tatooine campaign. I think there's quite a lot coming out. We've got Hammerhead, we've got the main heroes. There could be other things that have not been revealed yet, of course. So because I think there is an actual proper focus for Return to Tatooine, I think anything else from A New Hope is unlikely. Otherwise, it will be just a year of pretty much A New Hope. And we already know that there's already a lot of other stuff that's not uh, even original trilogy related that is being released such as you know Mando season 3 stuff, Ahsoka stuff, stuff like that. So that's my opinion on that one. In terms of Owen and Beru of course they are Tatooine linked and those are two that I would love to have with the with the homestead. Honestly I couldn't say whether they will do that. Obviously we know that there is more Tatooine stuff to come because they provided that poster with some clues on there. There were some tracks going off so maybe that's like a Bantha or a do back or maybe even a speeder or something who knows man who knows what it is but there is a lot of space on that poster that they provided 
Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. James Birch says, question for next week. Do Tungori mainly have regular retail figures or do they also have the exclusive figures at times? Example, Tarkin from the board game, Big Fortuna, etc. So Tarkin from the board game is on there right now. If you wanted that figure, you can get him. I would suggest that it's not much cheaper than you can actually get the, the board game for on eBay. Uh, which you get the figure with, carded. I've never actually seen the uh, Big Fortuna on there, but they've definitely had exclusives on there before because I remember I got myself the uh, Mandalorian from the Razor Crest with the soft goods cape way before that actually came out. So they definitely do, but that doesn't mean to say that they have all of them. So, you know, if you're expecting, I don't know, the figures from the Ghost Crew, for example, that are coming with the Haslab Ghost to be on there, you know, I can't guarantee that. So in my opinion, it's best not to gamble on that sort of thing. Terry Light says, greetings, question for next week. With the deluxe figures now being carded, would you support all boxed deluxe figures being re-released on new card backs with no updates and like the Vanth figure be integrated into the VC numbers? I say absolutely. Quite honestly, it depends on the character that we're talking about because yes, I would love to have Chrysanthemum and Zeb on a card back, but quite honestly, if it meant them being on those oversized card backs like the Cobb Vanth, then I think it's probably a waste of a slot when we already have the deluxe version. If they were put on a normal standard card, then that would be much better. They've done it already before, haven't they, with the Luke Skywalker Jedi training and with the Ahsoka. Uh, we had the Incinerator Trooper on cards. So they, they've done that a lot of times before. One that I think would be great would be the Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. I think that was the first ever deluxe figure that we got in a one of those boxes. That would look great on a card back and I wouldn't need all of the Stormtrooper helmets and whatever else, fire effects and all that that came with him. Just him and his blaster and the removable helmet would be absolutely fine for me on a you know standard sized card back rather than the oversized Cobb Vanth one. So that's just my opinion on it really. Star Wars Nerd says, Hey Bosk, with the recent release of the X-Wing 4-pack, what are the chances of Hasbro capitalising on that model to give us more 4-packs of unnamed characters? For instance, they could do a 4-pack of random alien thugs that appeared throughout the Mandoverse shows or a Pike Soldier 4-pack to go along with the rumoured Book of Boba Fett Cobb Vanth. So, yeah, I mean, those 4-packs essentially is what I originally thought that they were designed for, like proper army builders. We got the Stormtroopers originally. So there's, there's quite a few different figures that I would love to see them do in those boxes. I mean, I could name so many different clones, for example, but as you said, we've got the Pike Syndicate. They all look similar. Snow Troopers, if we ever got a new Snow Trooper, they could instantly do a four pack of Snow Troopers that I would buy quite a few of. Rebel Soldiers from Endor. You've, you've got the Rebel Soldiers from Rogue One. Not too sure about Alien Thugs because I wouldn't really want them all to look the same. I think the idea of these army builder packs as you mentioned with the x-wing four pack is that they share the same body essentially they're just changing the heads and the hands and i don't think that's enough for those thugs they all wear slightly different outfits so uh, but the other ones that i've mentioned yeah all for it and that's what hasbro should be using those white boxed army builders for jesse fleming says hey bb question for next week why doesn't the vintage collection receive exclusives anymore first sdcc and now PulseCon. it's very disappointing the rescue set a couple of years ago was a great exclusive in my opinion Black Series has had a couple of great ones this year, but nothing for us. I've got to say it is a bit depressing that we haven't had any exclusives for the Vintage Collection. We do feel a little bit left out. Um, and that's kind of the story with the whole of 2024, really. I, I just feel it's been a you know, a bit of a poor year, really. We've had some highlights. These, for example, the Blurgs, absolutely fantastic. The Rebels figures, really, really good. All in all, it doesn't seem to have been a great year compared to maybe the last two years and that's a bit unfortunate hopefully next year will improve i'm pretty sure yak face does still have on his rumored list uh, an exclusive of some description whether that's still going to be a thing or whether hasbro have cancelled it i couldn't tell you but i'm keeping my fingers crossed that we're still going to get an exclusive of some description this year we've still got london comic con whether an exclusive will come out for that is anyone's guess uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Horror fan says, question for next week. I recently scored a dream item for my collection, an Atat. What are the best figure versions of an Atat driver and general Veers? So I've got the Atat commander here. This is the TVC version. Of course, we haven't got a new version of that that's utilizing the new officer sculpt as of yet. So currently I would say that that's your best option for an Atat commander stroke general Veers. There was a general Veers in the Saga collection, I believe, which is okay, but of course it you know, it lacks articulation and things like that. Uh, but that one is actually titled General Veers rather than an Attack Commander. But 
I kind of still count this one as general fears, man. But that's that one. With the uh, Atat driver, you've got two choices, really. You can either go for the Saga Collection one, which has got less articulation. You have swivel elbows, things like that. But I think it's a better sculpt. The helmet is, is better. And then you've got the Legacy Collection version, which was also... Uh, reissued in the vintage collection in one of those three packs and that one in my opinion um, doesn't look as good as the saga collection one it's got a removable helmet for some strange reason never see them take their helmets off so i don't really know why they did that and because of that i think that maybe the scaling of that one's a little bit off uh, but it does have like hinged elbows and things like that so they're they're your two choices mr jj says hi bb will we ever receive a galactic imperial landing platform such as in return of the jedi on the forest moon of endor that would go great with the Imperial shuttles and other flying vehicles. Thanks, Mr. JJ from Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, the original home of Kenner Star Wars. Absolutely, Cincinnati, yes. In terms of your question, my friend, that platform to me sounds big. You know, the Imperial shuttle is a, is a pretty large vehicle, so to have a landing platform that big, it would be a, a big playset if, if that's what you're talking about, a playset or diorama piece or whatever. Having said that, I think my buddy Ian from IB3D is going to be attending the Echo Show uh, here in the UK. And I believe he's going to have what you're, you're talking about there, which is a landing platform. I think he's done it in the scale of the um, Jazzwares Micro Galaxy Squadron, I think they're called, to begin with. But I do believe that he can print it in... 3.75 inch scale but if it is there in person then i will definitely take pictures of it and things like that and you know put it on my social media so you can all see it but ian butler's great he he um 3d prints stuff and paints it up for you and things like that i've had some items off him in the past and yeah we'll have to wait and see what he comes up with but yeah in terms of hasbro releasing something like that yeah personally i'd want a new imperial shuttle first of all and then to think of the size of the platform for it to go on is yeah mind-blowing if you think about it it's a bit like thinking um why don't we have a docking bay for the millennium falcon <laughs> that would be a big big playset. yoko lama says awesome vid boss do you think hasbro will give something for revenge of the sith anniversary next year like a new commander cody or annie and obi i've got to say that i don't think if there is going to be any celebration of the revenge of the sith anniversary that we will get anything like what we did for the 40th anniversary of return of the jedi if they do anything it will probably be one or two figures and that will probably be our lot i think just judging by what's already been pipelined and and things like that of course it's my hope that we would get lots of clones and anakin and obi-wan because all of those need uh updating grievous Again, General Grievous was on uh, Victoria's list for last figure standing. So, you know, a lot of people out there want this sort of stuff. So I'm hoping and praying that we do actually get something for the Revenge of the Sith anniversary next year. But just to calm expectations, you know, just because it is the Revenge of the Sith anniversary, you know, don't automatically think that they will be doing something similar to the 40th anniversary of the Return of the Jedi because it's, it's just not going to happen. Jao Thomas says, hi boss, question for next week. When do you think we'll start to get some Bad Batch figures? I would love to get that new Ventress. So I get these Bad Batch questions literally every week. A lot of people out there want the Bad Batch figures. It's, you know, and me too as well. And if you want them, as I've said a few times on this video, make sure you put them in your top 10 for your last figure standing because this is how we get the message across, including figures like Ventress. Um, I feel Ventress has got more chance of being made anytime soon, just purely because she has done historically well in lots of different fan polls. So I think she was in our top 10 last year. She is constantly high up and does very well in March Madness. So if Hasbro are looking at those two pools of data specifically, then they can probably assume that Ventress is, is wanted. Now, whether that's the Clone Wars version or the Bad Batch version, who knows, man. But, you know, I think Ventress has got a good chance. Uh, Bad Batch figures, as I say, if you want them, get them in your last figure standing. C. Morales says, great show, like always. I've been watching you since the Q&A first started. That's awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. And crazy to see where you are now. Keep up the great work. Question for next week. Do you feel you will ever get playsets like Uncle Owen and Aunt Bruce home? Maybe getting some of the droid sales with Jowers. 
I think they can sell the playset and release some of the droids again, since it's the return to Tatooine. Would be nice if they released that playset again. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I would love for them to do the um, Skywalker homestead, if, if that's what you want to call it, Aunt Bruce and Uncle Owen's home. I feel that the one that we had in the Legacy Collection is, you know, very under detailed. It's not great, basically, and I think it could be improved upon. I do suspect that there are more important wanted things than that for Return to Tatooine, but it's something that I would I would definitely like them to do. In terms of the droids sale scene, if I can get that out, um, I think that would go hand in hand with a new sand crawler, whether that be a HasLab campaign or a regular sand crawler in the line, if they could even possibly do that. That would be the perfect opportunity to do the droid sale. Um, not too sure if we're gonna get too many of those outside of that just in return to Tatooine I think it will I think we'll get other stuff basically but you never know we'll have to wait and see what we get all right then that's it for this week's episode be sure to watch my latest videos that are on the channel which is the Cobb Vanth review and the Blurgs review and also if you haven't checked it out already and you weren't able to watch it live last night the last figure standing launch party live stream is still on the channel if you want to check that out uh, be sure to do so and also one more time please submit your top 10 lists to last figure standing we want as many people to do it as possible thank you very much for watching everybody don't forget to leave your question for next week's episode in the comment section below thank you to my patreon supporters and channel members as always your support means a great deal to me as you know and i do promise that once last figure standing has finished we'll be doing another um, exclusive private live stream and we'll be giving away those other figures that you know i was going to give away this year so that's awesome thanks for watching everybody and we shall see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,